Hi, my name is Julie Kim. I'm a field producer with Dateline NBC and... My name is Monet Robinson and I'm an associate producer for NBC Dateline. And we're here in Valley City, North Dakota. So Monet is taking my job and being the camera woman um, while I explain a little bit about, you know, what goes on behind the scenes when we shoot all the landscape and beautiful B-roll that you see on Dateline. So in Valley City right now, it's been in the negative single double digits. I've filmed for Dateline in Antarctica and this place is significantly colder. Because of that, uh, we had to prep um, our gear. A lot of the recommended operational temperature for our cameras is 32 degrees, zero degrees Celsius. Because we are in the negative digits, um, a lot of our cameras aren't going to be operating at its full capacity. And so my Sony A7S Mark III, um, I had to prep this guy with a matching puffer jacket. Um, so just put this guy on here. hands in here so your hands can be warm and then you can like see things and film some beautiful footage. Monet, uh, my partner in crime, has been helping me do a lot of temperature control. Temperature control essentially means that um, the camera has to heat up so the battery can kickstart again and uh, the lenses don't fog up um, when it changes from warm to cold and vice versa. And so that's why you always need to have another person with you um, in these kind of extreme climates. Since we've been lucky enough to film in North Dakota, we really wanted to take advantage of filming all this beautiful landscape. So we wanted to incorporate a lot of drone footage. One of the biggest struggles with drone in this ex extreme climate is that the signal is very weak or you are not able to see it because it is so white. So this is where the visual observer, AKA Monet, is so important when I'm filming drone because she has to watch out to see if you know there's any weird reactions or if the drone is stuttering or if it's going out too far because if it goes out too far, the signal, which is already weak, is gonna become weaker and weaker. So that's where this teamwork is so crucial when it comes to these ex extreme environments. When we're in locations like this, there are other environmental hazards that we have to be mindful of. Um, for instance, I got stuck in the snow. Um, Monet also got stuck in the snow. And <laughs> when we're in places like this, we're one in two bars. Uh, we have to really make sure that we have like backup plans. Luckily, North Dakotans are so friendly and super kind. Um, <laughs> they were able to pull me out of um, my scenario. We learned a fun trick when it's this cold to throw a cup of hot water into the air and it would freeze into ice or slush. So we tried it out and it actually worked. Okay, I'm losing daylight, so I have to get back to filming. 